I have, I'm on the road to recovery. It's a nice street in Camara because uh, it's a leafy sort of nice part of the world to be in. But just down the road, of course, is the suburbs of Goodna and Gale. 600 houses affected down that way and floodwaters that are only just receding and just starting part of the clean-up. And someone who is helping in that part of the clean-up is one of our one of our scout leaders from our local scout den, but also a Camira resident. Uh, I know her as Hathi, but you can call her Tracy. Say good day to Robin, Trace. Hi, Robin. Hello, Trace. Now, I've been hearing that you have been doing an absolutely monumental effort. What have you been up to? I've been doing a little bit of everything. I've been helping people get out of their homes. That was just as a civilian. And then I did some time with the Royal Fire Brigade um, with clean-up duties. And now I'm back at work and I work with Ipswich City Council. So we're on flood duties there as well. Now, this is bizarre to work for the Royal Fire Brigade, train up for fires <laughs> all through the summer. And then you, you find yourself... I mean, what happens? Do, do you send the fire engines down there? What happens? Yeah, we're all down there in the fire engines. And we um, were using the hoses to clean off the streets down at Goodna. Um, and the footpaths to make them safe for people to get access to their houses and their businesses. This is your local community now, Trace, and yep. you found yourself going down the hill there and you, you, it still makes you a bit shaky, doesn't it? It does. It was very emotional because I go shopping there all the time. So, yeah, it was very, very sad to see it so inundated and seeing how much it's you know, going to affect their local community. But I believe that everyone down at Ipswich Council is basically on flood duties now. We are, yes. Okay. Yes, I, I went into work yesterday, my first day back at work, and um, I got ferried out to a volunteer centre. So I've just been doing this over the <laughs> Yeah, <weekend>. I was. <laughs> so, Tracy, what can we do? You know, we've had a number of phone calls this morning from people saying they're still able to clean up. I mean, is that necessary in good, or is it past that phase at the moment? Um, I know from what I gathered yesterday, there are still some houses in Goodna because Goodna was truly inundated. Like, there was about 44 streets affected, which is quite a lot. Um, so, yeah, there's probably still a lot of work down there. I mean, the Goodna exits are still closed, so that's usually a sign that it's not good. And no tourists. I know Goodna is not known for being a tourist destination, <laughs> but over the weekend, far too many in the streets. Is that right? Just about, yeah. I know the Army's down there now, so... They're welcome. Yeah. <laughs>